Hi, I'm Jono, and if you're new here, I do pencil drawings. I often get asked what kind of pencils I use and what kind of pencil I would recommend for people starting out or who want to up their level with drawing. And so I thought in this video, I'd go through a bunch of different types of pencils from really cheap ones to the more expensive ones and see if there's a difference between the two. Also, a huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video, but more about them later. So I'm quickly gonna go to the shops and then I'll come back with a bunch of pencils and yeah, let's see what we can find. <laughs> That'd be nice. Okay, so now we need to try and figure out where the bad pencils are and where the good pencils are. Okay. In case I lose it. That's a 9B. I always like to see how dark we can get. <laughs> but thanks for the help, Donovan. Cheers, man. Let us in. We're back from the shops um, and now we have a bunch of pencils in front of us. The cheapest pencil on this side, most expensive pencil on this side. We're gonna see how well the pencil delivers itself to the paper. We're also gonna see if it blends itself quite well, uh, what kind of shapes the pencils can draw. All of those things are gonna form our criteria to eventually finding what the pinnacle of the pencil world will be and whether that aligns with the prices that we pay for these pencils. Uh, this is the Lira. The first test we're gonna do here is a uh, triangle shape. Feels pretty good as I'm drawing that triangle. That's not quite a right angle triangle, which is what I was trying to draw. So, you know, you kind of get what you pay for with these pencils. Um, you might be trying to draw something, you get a slightly different shape. The arrow, I have no clue what this brand is. What other shapes can we draw? We know squares. And this is a dark square. I think it's it's lying about what it is. It says it's a 6B, but this definitely feels more like a, a 9B or something. This is the traditional Stedler 6B. Let's have a feel. That feels great. It feels like primary school, very familiar. And let's draw a circle. These are all very important stress tests for pencils. Some pencils can't draw circles. Others can only draw circles and you don't want either of those two extremes. You want a pencil that knows how to do a myriad of different things. We have Adele, the pencil. Okay, so that's a pretty difficult test, the square circle test. Two vastly different shapes. We're gonna draw a line through both the square and the circle and that gives us two triangles. So this is a great pencil for diversity. Um, we're gonna shade in this section over here. Oh, and it did that effortlessly. So can highly recommend this Adele pencil. Now we have the first Faber-Castell. This is Faber-Castell Gold. Ovals are very underrated shapes. Um, pencils don't often respond well to ovals. So I feel like it's a good one to use in the stress test. We're doing way more complicated things with the Faber-Castell here now. Um, next we have Creator Color Fine Art Graphite. And for this test, we're just gonna do some dots. That's a lot of fantastic dots from that pencil. I wonder if we were to put a circle around the dots, how it does. Subpar circle, yeah. The circle could be a whole lot better. It's releasing a lot of graphite into the paper and um, I'm feeling like I don't have control over, over the circle I'm doing. It's just kind of, it has a life of its own here. It's a very powerful pencil, but maybe you need a lot more practice before you can start using a pencil like that. So now onto the more expensive of the pencils. This is a Derwent Graphic 6B pencil. And for this test, let's see if we can draw a cat. And immediately I am extremely happy with this cat. It looks a little bit angry. Whoops, okay, so the graphite broke there, which is a sign that the pencil's graphite is a little bit softer than what they're telling us here. So we're not quite sure if we can trust this. That's 6B, but really soft graphite there. But what we were able to do here is take what we were drawing and change it very easily, which is always a fantastic sign. You want your pencils to be versatile. You wanna be able to do multiple shapes with them and change your animal's face if you are struggling with the animal's face that you're busy working with. So here we were able to give that cat a long nose, which is super important when it comes to finding out 
what pencil is right for you. And lastly, we have the Faber-Castell. So this is the pencil that I've chosen, I really love. But let's have a look at how the, the pencil actually performs. Okay, so there we have a lion. Um, this was pretty consistent. I felt like this pencil could hold up against the task of trying to draw whatever I wanted to draw. First time I got the line looking in exactly the way that I wanted it to look, so that's always a good feeling. Um, I think the truth about all of these is that these pencils are all kind of the same. There isn't really much difference between really expensive pencils and cheaper pencils. When I used to draw in high school, I was often drawing with Stedler, which was one of the most affordable pencils that we had. The worst case scenario is that I'd sometimes be drawing and I'd find like a little piece of hardened graphite, which could sometimes scratch the drawing. Eventually when I upgraded to Faber-Castell, it was far less often that I encountered those little bumps in the graphite itself. And it was usually a smoother experience, but it's really just up to what you can afford and what you're happy to work with. I don't think it plays a huge part. The, the real thing that plays a massive role in how much graphite you can put down on the piece of paper, how malleable it is, how easily, how easily it erases, is the paper. So working off cartridge paper, you're gonna really struggle no matter what pencil you use. But working off something like Archer's 300 gram, or I mean, any kind of hot pressed watercolor paper, you're gonna have a much better experience. I mean, all of this is for another video entirely. So for this, I think the takeaway is don't let the pencils that you're using be the reason that you're not drawing. I think where there is a difference is there's a new pencil that Falbrook Castell are releasing that is made up of a different compound. And I think in the next video, we can review that and I can show you the differences, but that's also for another video down the line. Before I end this video, I just wanna give a quick shout out to this video sponsor, Squarespace. I've been working with them for a couple of years now and they've played a crucial role in my career, not only in helping me maintain this channel and sponsoring these videos, but more importantly, early on in my career, I was looking for a way to showcase my work and to make it easy for clients to get in touch with me. And I just felt that Squarespace did that effortlessly. I never had to patch or upgrade anything. I could register a domain with them or set up an online store. And most importantly, I could design a portfolio and show my work the way that I wanted to. Also, every time I got stuck, their amazing support team helped me out instantly. So if you're looking at building a website, give Squarespace a try. And if you decide that you love them, use the software code and get 10% off your first purchase. There we go. So. I hope that this video wasn't a bit of a, wasn't an anticlimax. I hope it's helpful to know that your pencils aren't holding you back. Pencils play a kind of a small role in, in what you can expect to achieve out of, uh, out of the tools that you're using for drawings. Let me know in the comments if you guys disagree, if you have found that the pencils made a big difference for you, I'd really love to hear that because that's something I'm actually quite interested in. My opinion might not be the, the last one here. If this video was helpful or at the very least just a little bit entertaining, leave a like, it helps the channel out in a huge way. As always, thanks for the support and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.